Hey guys, so today I am doing something special and that is going to be uh, my eyebrow tutorial. So many people have requested this in the recent days and I've also been requested a lot in the past um, to kind of do an updated one. I did one a while ago, but I'm doing a completely different technique than that time. Um, and I find that I like this the way this looks better. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, also, I want to say that I'm planning on doing a giveaway. I mean, I've gotten so many subscribers. Well, not so many, but a good amount of subscribers recently. And I'm just really thankful for that. You know, I appreciate it so much that you guys have subscribed to me. So I wanted to do a giveaway to kind of give back to you guys um, because I really appreciate it um, that you're subscribing to me. So what I'm going to do is just kind of... I'll figure out the whole logistics of it in another video and I'll kind of make another video about it. But right now I kind of just want to see what you guys would want. I have no idea what to put in the giveaway. So if there's something that you've been kind of like wanting for a while that you would like to see in a giveaway, um, just let me know because I really don't have any idea what to put in the giveaway. So just leave those kind of comments if you kind of anything you can think of that would be good to have in a giveaway, just leave that below. Nothing extravagant because I'm not made out of money, but you know, just let me know what you wanted to see and then um, I'll see what I can do. Um, so yeah, that's that and if you would like to see how I do my eyebrows, then just keep watching. Okay, so I start out with my brows, just kind of doing whatever. I'll brush them a little bit if I need to, um, but that's only really if I feel like they're not cooperating. In general they don't cooperate so you know I gotta just deal with it so this is the brush I use to do my brows you probably, have probably seen it before if you've been watching me for a while it is the Mac 208 this is the best brow brush I've ever found um, I've used you know different kinds of angled brushes like here's the elf angled brush um, I've seen some people use this kind of brush but I just keep going back to this one because it is so like I don't know it's perfect I, I just love it this is the first color I use for my brows and this is called Omega um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people use this color before it is a really good brow color because it does not have any kind of hint of oranginess or anything like that which is like looks a hot mess unless you have you know a orangey toned hair um yeah this is good stuff so I'll get some on my brush and generally I'll start kind of in the middle area and I'll go where I already have hair and just kind of fill it in a little bit and then I do the arch now as you can see on this side I don't know if you can really tell um, I have it kind of, it's very nice and like a nice high arch there. Well, not very high, but it, you know, it's an arch there. I actually really don't have much of an arch in my eyebrow, I don't think. I don't know, maybe I do. I don't know. But I usually go a little bit on actually the skin above my eyebrow, just a little bit. Um, and when I say a little bit, I mean like really a little bit. And all that's going to do is help heighten your arch even more. So if you kind of feel like you don't have an arch, just take it the littlest bit above the hairs right there and you'll kind of look like you got a little bit of an arch going on. So then I'll kind of pull it down. I don't really worry about the end yet. Okay, and then I like to take the flatness of the brush and I kind of lean my head back a little bit. And what I'll do is use that flat edge of the brush to make my flat edge underneath. So I'll go right where my hairs end here and do like a little thing right there, a little line. And I'll just pull it up like that into the rest of the hairs. And then I only have like a little bit of powder left in the brush at this point. Right now I don't add any more powder when I'm trying to do this front area. I just take whatever I have already and whatever is kind of down here and I just pull it up. And I'll just pull it up into that area so that it doesn't end up looking too dark there and too uh, filled in right there and then you know I'll look at both sides and keep messing with them until I feel like they look you know similar enough they don't need to be exactly the same just sort of you know similar and then I'll make sure that the um, top over here is nice and defined alright and that's all that I do with that color 
So next I take a darker color and you're probably gonna be like, girl, what in the world are you thinking putting that color in your eyebrows? You have blonde hair. But it, it works for me. So I'm taking this color right here. And you've seen me use this a million times as well. This is Mocha from Makeup Geek. It's probably my one of my favorite browns ever. Um, it's just a really perfect like matte brown. So I'll just take a dab of that in my brush, literally just a dab. And I'll use this on the outer part of the brow. So <clears throat> I'll run it along the bottom line of the brow. And I like to extend mine a little bit. <clears throat> just a little bit. You don't want to make them too long. And then I will also take this and kind of put some on the arch of the brow as well to darken up the arch and then run it along the top line of the brow and that way the end ends up looking more a little more defined um, and that's really what I like and that's really how I try to do my brows is I want them to look really defined okay so you could totally stop here and a lot of the times this is all I'll do and then that's it like this is what I'll do and then that's what my brows look like for the day but sometimes I like a little more definition underneath so I'll take a concealer I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown creamy concealer and porcelain today I try not to go too light I see you know there's some people that go for like a white-ish kind of concealer under their eyes and it looks really um, I don't know really bright and unnatural I think if you use um, a lighter concealer than you know what your skin tone is but not something drastically lighter it's gonna give you the same effect of being nice and defined but it won't be so like crazy looking so I'll take this on a uh, concealer brush this is an old one from Lancome that I got a while ago and what I'm gonna do is just trace this under the brow And that'll kind of allow me to really kind of hone in on the shape I'm looking for. I'll take my other brush just to fix anything I need to. And I'm really not using a lot of this concealer, just a little tiny dab. And then I will go all the way in and just stay nice and tight to the line under your brow. Okay, and once that's done, I'll just take my finger and dab over that concealer and that'll kind of blend it in alright so the next to the last step is I'm gonna take a light colored creamy or white colored eyeshadow just to set that concealer so it doesn't get sticky throughout the day today I'm gonna use um, gesso from Mac which is a matte white but you can really use any color um, I'm using this so you're kind of better be able to see um, the definition you can get but usually I wouldn't use a bright white like this but I'm just gonna tap this on top and I like this brush for this part because it really kind of packs it on but in a precise kind of way alright guys so now the final step is um, plucking and if you get your brows waxed on a regular basis you probably won't need to do this but what I like to do is I don't wax my brows because I feel like it's gonna pull my eyelid a lot and create like some wrinkles that I don't want this young um, so what I like to do is just do a little plucking and to make it easier for me I will um, just pluck every day and I find that my brows never get really unruly or never grow in really bad because um, I'll cry, try to just you know if there's any hair sticking out any day I'll just pluck them off and then every day I'll only have to pluck like a couple hairs to keep them in the shape that they are so I really like um, I really like doing it that way so I take these tweezers these are just Revlon tweezers I use these for everything and I will just kind of pluck what I need to and I find that when I put the concealer on it makes these hairs more visible so that it's easier for me to get out all the hairs I need to I hate these hairs like do you guys have hairs that like they're really tiny and like super blonde and they grow like right here and like they're so far away from my eyebrow I'm kinda of thinking to myself like geez if I didn't pluck my eyebrows at all what would that look like that's kinda of I don't know but they hurt really bad when I pull them out I kind of like every time I see one I'm just like oh no I don't want to pull it out I don't wanna but I have to we got a bleeder people okay so that's pretty much it that's good enough for me they're um, 
plucked pretty well and I feel comfortable about it. So yeah, that is pretty much it. And now I have a nice defined eyebrows and I don't know, that's pretty much it. I hope this video answers some of your questions about what I do and gave you some helpful tips and stuff if you're kind of lost in the eyebrow world. Um, if you have any extra questions, if I kind of didn't answer something you were wondering about, um, feel free to um, leave those questions below in the comments and yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, that's that and um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.